If you just picked up the Brita Morella water filter jug and you want to know how to set it up, then this video is definitely for you. I'm also going to tell you one thing to not do or something that you shouldn't forget to do, I should say, if you are using this jug. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Veronica and I do family cleaning and organization videos. In today's video, I am going to be showing you how to clean your water. Yes, that is right. I am going to be showing you how to set up and use for the first time the Brita Morella water filtration water jug. So without further ado, let's get into the setup. The very first thing I did was to unpack the Brita filter as well as the cartridges. Mine came with six. And of course there is this very long set of instructions, but don't worry, you won't need them because I'm going to show you everything that you need to do to set up your jug for the very first time. You wanna get ready for step one, which is to wash the jug with hot and soapy water. You take off the lid and then you take the internal funnel part out. And so you've got these three pieces that all need to be washed with hot soapy water. Once the jug is nice and clean, just get all the pieces dry and ready to put back together. But first we have to fill up the jug with water so that we can prepare the water filtration cartridge. Now this is exactly the same step that you will use every single time you change your cartridge. Super simple, you take the cartridge out of the packaging and then you just put it into the water jug until you see these air bubbles kind of coming out. You wanna give it a little wiggle so that it gets all of the air bubbles out of the cartridge. I usually do this for around 30 seconds until I know that there's no more air bubbles at all inside the cartridge. Then all you do is leave it in the jug in the water to soak for a couple of minutes. Once the two minutes is up, just go ahead and give the cartridge a little shake and drain out all of the water that is inside. So go ahead and get rid of that water that you used to rinse the cartridge. The next step is to put the water funnel back into the jug. It just clips right into place. And then you put the water filter cartridge into the middle funnel inside of the jug. An easy way to know if you've put the water filter into place correctly is if once you start filling it with water, if water does not come through the funnel in the middle, then you know it's not on right. You just need to take it out and put it right back in. The next step is key. Every single time you add a new water filter cartridge to your jug, you want to fill the jug up and let that water filter all the way through. Then you discard that water and then you do the same thing again. So you run two jugs worth of filtered water through the jug before you are able to drink the water. I timed it to see around how long it would take for the water to completely pass through the filter and it took around three minutes. So yeah, once the first filter is done, go ahead and pour that water out and do the exact same thing again, and then you'll discard that water again. The final step in the process is to start the filter replacement timer countdown. Now you just hold on the start button for around five seconds. You'll see that the bars blink and then you let go and you will have 100% or all four bars. Fill the jug one more time, let the water filter through, and this will be your water that is ready to drink. Congratulations, that is it. That's the last step. So you now have delicious, fresh, filtered water ready to drink. So as you can see, setting up this water filter is super easy. I was able to get it cleaned, new filter, everything changed in just a couple of minutes. Now, like I mentioned earlier, the one thing you definitely want to remember to do if you are using this water filter, it's super important. You need to remember to change the filter. This is not something that you should just leave in the water jug for months on end. The recommendation is that you change it every month or two months, depending on your usage, but you definitely do not want to let it go any longer than that. It is a breeding ground for bacteria and mold and that is just absolutely gross. If you got this particular model of the water filter, it will tell you when you should change it. Now this is just a very simple countdown. It doesn't measure usage or anything like that. It counts down from one month and every bar represents around one week. When that last bar is gone, it is definitely time to change the filter. This is the one thing that if you're using a water jug like this that you don't wanna forget. You wanna store your filtered water in the refrigerator. You don't wanna leave it out on the counter and you definitely don't wanna use it for anything other than water. So thanks for watching today's video. Keep an eye out as well because I'm going to be doing a couple of other reviews and I'm going to be doing some kitchen organization and you'll see exactly how I fit this Brita water filter into our fridge without making it look all cluttered. So thank you again for watching today's video and I'll see you next time.